गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मोनिका खेतरपाल टूडे वी विल डिराइव द सोल्यूशन ऑफ हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग हेमिल्टन जेकोबी मैथड इन दिस मैथड वट इज आवर एम वी हैव टू फाइंड द कॉर्डिनेट क्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ constants alpha and beta further then alpha and beta will be expressed in terms of initial values that means at time t equal to 0 so to solve the hj equation which is in which we have hamiltonian so in order to find the hamiltonian we must know the value of kinetic energy and potential energy of harmonic oscillator we know that in a harmonic oscillator the forces are conservative and when forces are conservative we can express them as f equal to minus kx if we are taking harmonic oscillator in cartesian coordinate and the dimension which and the direction which we are taking is x axis here we are expressing the conservative force in a general form that means we are using instead of x generalized coordinate q so f will be equal to minus k q here k is spring constant using this force the potential energy can be obtained as v equal to minus integral of f which will give us potential energy as k q square upon 2 and kinetic energy as we know the formula of kinetic energy is half mv square and on expressing it in terms of momentum we can express it in terms of linear momentum p as t equal to p square by 2m hence h will be t plus v since h is a function of small q small p and t so i have obtained my hamiltonian to be p square by 2m plus half k q square and this hamiltonian can be expressed in a convenient form by substituting instead of p del s by del q this is our hamiltonian in old set of coordinates and to solve the hj equation we have new hamiltonian denoted by capital k to be zero that means our hj equation is h plus del s by del t equal to zero here i am substituting the value of h which we have determined this is now our hj equation which we have to solve from here we have to find the value of q in order to solve this equation we are using the method of separation of variables since s is our new generating function in this method and it is a function of q alpha and t we can write it as w which is a function of q and alpha minus alpha t here alpha is a constant now in order to find solve this expression we must know the value of del s by del q so obtaining del s by del q from the second equation we will get del s by del q to be equal to del w by del q and from this expression 
I can also find the value of del s by del t. That means partial differential of s with respect to t. Differentiating with this, differentiating s with respect to t, since this term is independent of t, differential will be 0 and from the second term I get del s by del t to be equal to minus alpha. Substituting this 1 upon 2m instead of del s by del q I get del w by del q whole square plus kq square by 2 and del s by del t is equal to minus alpha. Here I have a differential of w with respect to q. Separating this and taking it on the left hand side and other terms are taken on the right hand side. In order to solve the equation 3, I am integrating this expression. So, integral will give me w which is equal to on integration will be under root mk integral under root 2 alpha by k minus q square dq plus a constant of integration. So, knowing s, knowing w, I can determine the value of s from the relation s equal to w minus alpha t. This is the value of s obtained by substituting the value of w. Now, here we have alpha and beta, alpha is a constant and the factor beta which corresponds to new position can be determined from s by differentiating it with respect to alpha. Since beta is del s by del alpha, so differentiating it with respect to alpha and simplifying I can get the value of q simplifying I get q as under root 2 alpha upon k cos under root k by m multiplied by t plus beta. Here under root k plus k upon m it can be expressed as omega. So my coordinate q can be expressed in terms of alpha and beta as q equal to under root 2 alpha by k cos omega t plus b. This is the solution of harmonic oscillator. We know that the solution of harmonic oscillators can be expressed in form of sine functions or cos functions or in the form of exponential. Now, what we are left here is that we have to express alpha and beta in terms of initial coordinates that means at time t equal to 0. In order to attain this, I am assuming that initially let particle was at rest. Now, since the particle is at rest, its momentum will be 0 because linear momentum P equal to mv and v is 0. So, initial momentum denoted by P0, it will be 0. And taking the initial displacement as Q0 at time t equal to 0, I can get the value of pj as from the transformation equation since pj is del s by del qj and as s is equal to w minus alpha t so del s by del qj will be simply equal to del w by del qj. I have obtained pj because I have to find the initial value that means p0. 
so here i am taking time t to be 0 and pj as p0 p0 equal to del s by q at time t equal to 0 and it will be simply equal to del w by del q at time t equal to 0 we have already obtained the value of del w by del q and del w by del q at time t equal to 0 can be find out as from this expression this is del w by del q and at time t equal to 0 putting the value of q to be q0 this is the value of del w by del q whole square and p0 which is simply del w by del q t equal to 0 i get the value of p0 to be equal to under root 2m multiplied by alpha minus kq square upon 2 raised to the power half and since we have taken that at time t to be 0 the particle is at rest that means p0 is 0 so substituting it to be 0 i get the value of alpha which is kq0 square upon 2 that means this is the students you can see this is the energy of the system Hence, alpha denotes the total energy of the system and since it is a harmonic oscillator, it is conservative, the energy must be conserved at all times. That means this is the initial total energy and this energy must remain same if we are taking the value of energy at a particular time t. Now, using this value of alpha, we obtained our alpha. Substituting alpha in this expression, I can get the value of Q as Q0 cos omega T plus B. Now, since beta, which is the initial value, is 0, so our solution of the problem is q equal to q0 cos of omega t hence hamilton principal function s it is the generator of contact transformation here total energy of the system is constant and the momenta, final momenta, P0, initial momenta P0 here was assumed to be 0. So, we can obtain the solution of harmonic oscillator problem via HA method and solution of HA equation is Hamilton principal function S and using this S as a generator. generating function we have developed our coordinate at time t q which is a function of t and it can be expressed in a form q to be equal to q0 cos of omega t thank you students